Lauren and welcome to Storytime. So this is going to be our last story time for the fall. I know I'm bummed too. Um, but we are going to be having a story time all about the holiday that's coming up. Does anybody know what holiday might be next? Coming up towards the end of October? It has to do with pumpkins and ghosts and vampires maybe. Um, all different kinds of spooky things. Anybody know? That's right, it's Halloween. So our story time is all about Halloween this week. So we're gonna read some stories, play some games, all about Halloween, and I hope you guys have fun. Thanks. All right, everyone, so let's start with our opening song. So if everybody can stand up for me. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Good job. Let's get started with story time. Okay, so our first story this week is called Halloween Hustle. Let's get started. You're invited to a fabulous Halloween party hosted by Ghost. Midnight, October 31st, 1313 Shade Lane, Dance Contest. In the dark, a funky beat, something white with bony feet. Skeleton dancing up the street, doing the Halloween hustle. Bony thumbs and fingers snap, bony heels and toes tip tap, knees knock knock and elbows flap. Doing the Halloween hustle. Skeleton twists his skinny hips, shakes his shoulders, shakes and skips. On a crooked crack he trips, bones scatter, what a clatter. Spine is like a broken ladder. He sticks his bones back into place, adds rubber bands just in case. Gets up and grooves with ghoulish grace, doing the Halloween hustle. He swings around the bus stop sign once, twice, then gets in line right behind Frankenstein doing the Halloween hustle. Climbs on the bus, can't find a seat. That's okay, he finds the beat. Shuffles and scuffles those bony feet doing the Halloween hustle. The bus, big bus zigzags through the town, zooms up hills and cruises down. Every monster for miles around is doing the Halloween hustle. The bus slows down and then it stops. Skeletons leave with three high hops. Leads the others to the shops doing the Halloween hustle. Skeleton buys a snazzy hat, a jazzy jacket to go with that. But in his path a big black cat. Bones scatter. What a clatter. Spine is like a broken ladder. Skeleton doesn't groan or whine. Binds his bones with tape and twine. He bounces up feeling fine. Doing the Halloween hustle. In fancy clothes the monsters go to the party in a row. A funky freaky fashion show. Doing the Halloween hustle. The ghostly host greets each guest. How do you do? You're so well dressed. Just in time for the dance contest. Doing the Halloween hustle. Monsters move on through the door. Jump and jive out on the floor. Spooky judges hold up scores for doing the Halloween hustle. Skeleton shimmies, swings and sways. Bebops as the music plays. But zombie's foot gets in the way. Bones scatter, what a clatter. Spine is like a broken ladder. A skeleton girl with a friendly smile sweeps the bones up in a pile. Skeleton hay in just a while, you'll do the Halloween hustle. She uses a bottle of super strong glue. You're fixed forever, you're just like new. Hey, I'd like to dance with you. Let's do the Halloween hustle. 
All the monsters cheer and clap, bony thumbs and fingers snap, bony heels and toes tip tap, doing the Halloween hustle. And that is the end of Halloween Hustle. Okay, so it is time for our Zoom 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 song. But since this week's story time is all about Halloween, we're going to change it up a little bit. So instead of going to the moon, it's going to be climb onto my broom because it is all about witches. So we've got a few new lyrics and a few new hand motions, but let's go ahead and get started. Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. Zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. If you want to fly tonight to give a spook and give a fright, zoom, 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 climb onto my broom. In five, four, three, two, one, boom! Okay, so for our next game, what I'm going to do is build a Halloween monster. I'm going to put up each part of our monster. We're just going to build his head. And then I'm going to have you see if you can guess which Halloween monster he is. Now, he will be a character that you should probably be familiar with. You might have seen him in maybe some different books, movies, TV shows, things like that. It's a pretty popular figure around Halloween, okay? So... Let's go ahead and put our first piece up of our Halloween monster. Okay, let me move it a little bit so he's a little more centered. There we go. Okay, so our Halloween monster has a green head. Okay, anybody have any guesses quite yet? Maybe not quite yet. Okay. So then we're going to add to our Halloween monster an ear and another ear, okay. Anybody have any idea of what he might look like just yet? Not quite. Okay, let's try. Let's put monsters we've got one eye another eye does he look familiar to anybody let's move this eye down just a little bit there we go anybody think he looks familiar maybe not quite yet all right what about a smile for our monster. Anybody know yet? Okay. Then our monster's got some stitches there. Does he look like anybody yet that you can think of? Straighten out his smile a little bit there. Okay. Let's add his hair. Fix his hair a little bit. Okay, here we go. Anybody yet? I think he's starting to look a little familiar. Move his stitch down just a little bit. There we go. All right, and the final pieces of our character, we've got a bolt and another bolt. Anybody know who our character is? It's Frankenstein. That's right, our Fun, friendly Halloween monster is Mr. Frankenstein himself. Good job, guys. All right, our next story is called A Halloween Scare in Ohio. And Ohio is where we are, right? Where most of us 
if not all of us live, right? All right. Prepare, if you dare, for an Ohio scare. A night of pure terror to whiten your hair. A tale full of sights that are best left unseen. You ready? You sure? This was my Halloween. Does anybody know what this is? Maybe Cedar Point, right? The werewolves howled loudly. The moon shone so bright, I stayed in my bedroom. The curtain shut tight. My heart started pounding. My knees felt so weak. But being a brave kid, I just had to peek. I pulled back the curtains, my mouth opened wide. An army of monsters had gathered outside. They staggered and stumbled and lurched down the streets with bags full of cookies and candy corn treats. Emerging from sewers and houses and stores came creatures and critters with ravenous roars. The more came along from all over the state. They filled up the streets at a dizzying rate. From Akron, Toledo, Columbus, Brook Park, a mountain of monsters came out of the dark. They gathered together for one spooky night to seek out the living and give them a fright. The thunder clapped loudly with terrible booms. The witches dodged lightning and clung to their brooms. The two-headed doggies tried chasing their tails and banshees let loose with their hideous wails. The vampires hung out on the streets in their gangs and grinned just to show off their pearly white fangs. The mummies moaned loudly and swayed side to side while Frankenstein stomped about town with his bride. A silly old wizard with very bad sight bumped into another which started a fight. A hapless Ohioan who stood in the road was struck by a spell and turned into a toad. The starving young ogres who wandered the plains came looking for food as they had hunger pains. They climbed into Buckeyes and hid out of view, then jumped down to scare passerbys with a boo. The creepies were crawly, the crazies were crazed, the zombies from Athens had eyes that were glazed. The ogres from Dayton were ugly as sin, with big bulging noses and warts on their chin. The ghouls danced around but were lacking in soul. The gargoyles could rock and the headless could roll. Although the whole spectacle seemed to spell doom, I foolishly thought I'd be safe in my room. But then something happened that made my heart jump. From somewhere below me I heard a big thump. I froze for a moment as quiet as a mouse. Yes, I could hear noises from inside the house. I put on my slippers and pulled on my robe. I shook like a sheet leaf, but I don't think it showed. Then slowly but surely, I crept down the stairs, preparing myself for the biggest of scares. My hands trembled wildly. I opened the door. I still shudder now at the horrors I saw. The stereo spat out some hideous sounds as dozens of monsters jumped madly around. The sight was horrific. It made my skin crawl. These monsters were having their Halloween ball. And right in the middle, one monster loomed tall, the hairiest, scariest monster of all. He turned and saw me. I fell to my knees. I'm not very tasty, so don't eat me, please. He beamed ear to ear and broke free from the huddle, ran over and gave me a big monster cuddle. At last we have found you, he said with a smile. From Cleveland to Portsmouth, we've looked for a while. We came here to give you your wonderful prize. He held up a trophy in front of my eyes. A prize? And for me? I replied with a grin. But what did I enter and how did I win? You've won the first prize for the costume you're wearing. It even scares me and I'm tip top at scaring. This isn't a costume. I'm just dressed as me. Exactly. The scariest thing you can be. A small human child with a cute button nose. Your teeth are so shiny you've only ten toes. No hair on your face and no horns on your head. The whites of your eyes are not glowing or red. A bone-chilling costume. A horrible sight. A worthy ensemble for Halloween night. We partied together until the moon set. A Halloween night that I'll never forget. 
And next year I won't want to hide in my bed. The monsters won't scare me. I'll scare them instead. And that's the end of a Halloween scare. Okay, so it is time for our action rhyme that we're going to do. Kind of like a little dance, but if you listen to the song lyrics, you've got steps to follow. And it's called, what else? Monster Monster, to go along with our Halloween theme. So if everybody can stand up for me, okay? And it goes, Monster Monster, turn around. Monster Monster, touch the ground. Monster Monster, reach up high. Monster Monster, touch the sky. <laughs> monster Monster, touch your nose. Monster Monster, grab your toes. Monster Monster, touch your knees. Monster Monster, sit down please. And there you have Monster Monster. Thanks guys. All right, it is time for our banana song. So let's go ahead and put our arms above our head. Make our banana and peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. Peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas and chop bananas. Chop, chop bananas. Chop bananas. Chop, chop bananas and smash bananas. Smash, smash bananas. Smash bananas. Smash, smash bananas and eat bananas. Eat, eat bananas. Eat bananas. Eat, eat bananas. And what's the last thing we're going to do? Go bananas! <sighs> okay, our last story today is called How to Scare a Ghost. Do you want to scare a ghost? The easiest, spookiest time to try is Halloween. First, you have to find one. How to attract a ghost. Hide scarecrows in your yard. Tangle up the porch. Carve creepy pumpkins. No ghost yet? Keep your eyes wide open while you do more Halloween-y things, even at school. Ghosts can't resist bobbing for apples. Cupcakes, games, glitter. Still no luck? Don't give up. Try one last trick. Make scary sounds. A witch's hee hee hee. An owl's hoo 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 hoo. And an eerie ghostly boo. Yes, you found one. But is the ghost real or just a kid in a costume? How to tell if a ghost is real. Instead of walking, ghosts float. They never ever open doors. Ghosts are only visible to kids and cats, not to grown-ups, not to dogs. Okay, your ghost is real. Time to get scary. Pop out with your most frightening face. Make a gigantic monster shadow. Read spooky, creepy stories. Your ghost might say, ghosts aren't afraid of anything, except Uh-oh, too scary. Help your ghost calm down with a cup of warm cider. Promise, no more scaring. And instead, so the ghost is scared of a vacuum cleaner. Instead, play together. How to play with a ghost. Take turns riding piggyback. Wee! Put on a magic show. Scare other people. Just a teeny bit. What not to play with a ghost. Seesaw. When a ghost plops down, it doesn't even budge. Jumping on a trampoline. Yup, no bounce. Hide and seek. Ghosts are too good at hiding. It's almost time to trick or treat. Your ghost probably wants a costume too. How to choose a costume. Be your favorite thing. A soccer ball, a sparkly red robot, a banana split. Be something scary. A skeleton, a witch, a vacuum cleaner. Team up together and be a traffic light. Remember, a ghost in a costume can be seen by everyone, but don't worry. Your parents will just think you made a new friend. 
Ghosts know nothing about trick-or-treating, so share your tips. How to trick-or-treat. Don't go through doors. Knock and yell, trick-or-treat. Then say as fast as you can, thank you very much, goodbye, and zoom to the next house. Remind your ghost not to float too high. Ah, no feet! Now wish everyone happy Halloween. And that is the end of How to Scare a Ghost. Okay, our first magnet game we're going to play today is called the Chocolate Chip Ghost Story, okay? So we've got our five little ghosts up here and mommy ghosts. So they're going to play a big part in our story. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there lived five little ghosts. As everyone knows, ghosts are white, and to stay white, the only thing they can eat is vanilla ice cream, and the only thing they can drink is milk. One day, when Mama Ghost went to the refrigerator, there was no vanilla ice cream and no milk. So she had to go to the grocery store, and before she left, she said, no matter how hungry you get, do not eat anything or something dreadful will happen. So our mom ghost is gonna go to the store. So the first ghost became so very thirsty. He looked in the refrigerator and saw a glass of grape juice and thought just one teeny sip wouldn't hurt. So he took a one tiny sip of grape juice and what do you suppose happened? What do you think happened? He turned purple. The other ghost looked at him and said, Mommy told us that something dreadful would happen and she was right. The little ghost did not want his mommy to see him all purple. So he ran upstairs and hid in the toy box. Let's put our ghost down there in the toy box. The second ghost became so hungry that he just had to look in the refrigerator for something to eat. He saw a carrot and thought, just one teeny bite wouldn't hurt. So he took one teeny bite of the carrot. And what do you suppose happened? What do you guys think happened? He turned orange. The other ghost looked at him and said, Mommy told us something dreadful would happen, and she was right. The little ghost did not want his mommy to see him all orange, so he ran upstairs and hid in the closet. <coughs> the third ghost became so hungry, he looked in the fridge and saw a bowl of spinach and thought, just one teeny bite wouldn't hurt. So he took one teeny bite of spinach and what do you suppose happened? You got it, he turned green. The other ghost looked at him and said, mommy told us something dreadful would happen and she was right. The little ghost did not want his mommy to see him all green so he ran upstairs and hid under the bed. Oops. Put him under the bed. The fourth ghost became so hungry, he looked in the refrigerator and saw a bowl of strawberries and thought, just one teeny bite wouldn't hurt. So he took one teeny bite of a strawberry and what do you suppose happened? He turned red. The other ghost looked at him and said, Mommy told us something dreadful would happen, and she was right. The little ghost did not want his mommy to see him all red, so he ran upstairs and hid behind the door. The fifth ghost said, I'm so hungry, but I will not do what my brother said. I'll look in the freezer and see if there's just maybe a little vanilla ice cream left. When he looked in the freezer, there was some ice cream, and it was almost vanilla, it was chocolate chip. So the ghost said, this shouldn't hurt me. Those chocolate chips are so tiny. So he ate one spoonful 
and became a chocolate chip ghost. He certainly didn't want mommy to see him all spotty, so he ran upstairs and hid in the bathtub. When mommy ghost returned, she knew something was wrong when she didn't see her children. So she started looking for the little ghost. She found the first one upstairs in the toy box and a second one in the closet, the third under the bed, the fourth behind the door, and the fifth last one in the bathtub. When she found all of them, she said, little, guess, little ghost, I told you something dreadful would happen and it did. Whatever can we do to get you white again for Halloween? Mommy Ghost called the ghost doctor, and this is what he told her to do. Keep all the little ghosts in bed for five days and give them nothing but vanilla ice cream and milk. If you do this, they should be ready and all white again for Halloween. So that is what she did, and by Halloween night, the five little ghosts were all white again to go out haunting and spooking and shouting boo, and they never ate something they shouldn't. The end. So we've got all our white ghosts all back to normal. No funny colors or spots or anything like that. And that is the end of the chocolate chip ghost story. All right, so we have come to the end of our Halloween story time. We're gonna go ahead and do our goodbye song, Tickle the Clouds. Tickle the Clouds. Tickle your toes, turn around, and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time's over, so wave goodbye. Thank you guys so much for joining us for our fall story time online, and we hope to see you guys real soon again at the library. Thanks, bye-bye.